Are you looking for a good sound bar for under $200? I'm gonna unbox this and see if this is the perfect one for you. Let's test it out. What's up, buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy. I'm your host, Rodney, and today we got another unboxing to do. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. And to all my subscribers now, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And with all these products, the link would be down in the description below. So you guys can go down there, click that, see the current price, and see other people's reviews. So let's get to this product right here. All right, buds, right here we got the Pope Signa 2. We just got it delivered right now. We're going to unbox this and check it out. The soundbar looks pretty pretty long, longer than I thought. My entertainment center is not that big. I don't want it to take up all the space. So we we'll give you guys like the perfect size comparisons and uh, we'll see how this bass speaker sounds. So let's get to it. I think I'm about to time lapse me open this or I'm just gonna skip to when I open this cause this thing is freaking annoying. Just so annoying. All right, buds, finally got it out. Here goes the sound bar. Um, it's pretty long, way longer than I wanted it to be. It's about 35 and a quarter inches. Uh, the material feels really good, doesn't feel cheap. It's really light, lighter than I thought it would be, especially for this size and how long it is. Compared to the Bose uh, Solo 5, it's about, oof, man, look at that bad boy. It's almost only halfway, so that's crazy. So everything that you get in there, you get the uh, speaker, the base that I'm about to show right now. And then you get your optical end cable. Um, I don't even know what this is, but we gotta figure that out. You get your uh, soundbar remote. You get an HDMI cable. You get your power cord. And what is this? A uh, power cord for the base. So that's everything that comes in the box for the speaker. Oh uh, yeah, and you get one battery. I hope it's only one. There might be another battery around here. Yes, it's only one. One battery for the controller. There's not two. All right, but so here goes the subwoofer for the Polk Signa. Um, it's really light, and this one looks like it's not too bad. The material feels good. The only thing I don't like is how you can see the wood like straight through there. I don't, and you can see the wire too. I don't like that, but it feels good. It doesn't feel cheap, even though I don't like the way that it looks in there. It feels sturdy. If you guys seen my last review, that JBL, like that speaker was humongous. This one's like half the size and definitely not even half the weight of that one. So it's really light and it's really slim too. I feel like you can fit this in other places way better than um, some subwoofers. So it, you can really hide this and slide this other places. And in the height in the for like the vertical measurements, it was about 13 inches um, down and then like horizontal was about like 12 and a quarter. 12 and a half, so it's not too uh, tall and it doesn't really stick out a lot. So you can definitely for sure hide this in certain places if you wanted to and it'll, it'll look better than, you know, if it was big and bulky. But the real test is how it sounds. Let's see if it um, gets real shaking bass or just really good bass, period. Let's see how good uh, under $200 subwoofer sounds. So right here on the lights, as you see, you get a different row of lights and different numbers. If you get one uh, white light, that means it's connected through the HDMI. If you get one green uh, dot on there, that means it's uh, connected HDMI, but also it knows that there's um, a Dolby content type movie playing or TV show. Same with the two. Two means you have the optical cable in, which I have in. And then if you get two green dots, that means it knows that there is a Dolby content playing. So I'll switch to Dolby mode. And for three, it's the aux cable. And then if you get one blue light, that means it's connected through Bluetooth. So I have mine on the opti optical cable. So if you see now, I got the two green dots. That's because I press play on the movie and it automatically noticed that it has Dolby, like cinema, uh, Dolby sound in the movie. So it automatically switched to Dolby mode. And you only can do that with the HDMI and the optical cable that it will know that it's a Dolby type movie. All right, buzz. so now we have everything connected. We're gonna do a quick little sound test for you guys so you guys can hear it, see what it sounds like. So let's do it right now. And right there is where the um, subwoofer is. I really have no room to put it nowhere right now, but that's where it is. And of course the sound bar right there. <laughs> So 
so that's the sound test. And before I get into um, what I think of the sound on here, on this remote, they have a feature where you can boost like the dialogue and you know people talking. They have a different one, as you can see, is one, two, three. So if you're having a problem with hearing the words, because um, I know some movies uh, they talk really low. You can always just boost up the dialogue right here by hitting the three to make it louder and lower and whatnot. And the different modes they have, you know, movie mode, uh, night effect mode, and then um, a music mode. All right, but so there you guys had it. You guys heard it. And how I feel about this is I feel like it sounds really good. It sounds full. You get a full sound. The subwoofer, though, it doesn't you don't feel it. You hear it, which helps you get a fuller, richer sound but you don't feel it. So anyone that wants to get, was looking at this for like that bass rumbling sound, you're not gonna get it with this subwoofer. Definitely don't get this one. If you just want a fuller rich sound, you're not really big on bass, um, you could definitely take a look at this one. When I had it connected to Bluetooth, I felt like, um, I felt like the sound was kind of out of control and the highs were really high and sharp and they kind of hurt my ears. I didn't like that. So definitely you wanna have this hooked up to the HDMI or the optical. Once I switched it to the optical, the, the balance was more cleaner and the sound was way better and it didn't hurt my ears like it did when I had it on Bluetooth. Now this is going for about 166 when I just looked. Um, so it's under $200. And for 166, this is definitely a really good price for this product. I feel like the quality is really good for 166. What you're getting out of this, you're gonna get your money's worth, that's for sure. But like I said, if you're trying to get this for a bass booming sound, this is not for you. If you're just looking for a fuller, richer sound, you just want your movies to be louder, your TV shows, your sports events louder, yes, this is definitely worth um, the 166 or whatever it's going for right now you would definitely get your money's worth out of this soundbar. And like I said, I just wanna say again, it would do way better in smaller to medium spaces. If you have a larger space, I think this will not cut it for you. You should look at my other review on the JBL.5. It is, that is going for like under 500, but that thing is like a home movie theater system. If that's what you're looking for, definitely check out my review on that one but I don't think this would do really good in a larger space. This is not what you want. I would definitely try to look for other sound bars that are cheaper than that JBL one I review because I know $500 is a lot. I am trying to find the perfect sound bars for different situations and different price points, but yet for 166 in a smaller to medium space, this one would do pretty good. This, would, this is your sound bar if you want that loud, full sound. And like I said, the subwoofer is I. All right, but so there you have it. That was my review on the Polk Cigna um, S2. If this review helped you out, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And to all my subscribers now, thank you so much for subscribing. You are helping the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. And as always, Buzz, the link will be down in the description. You guys can click that and check it out. But all right, Buzz, I'll see you guys in the next video and next review.